In this part 13 of Beginning Rhino on Mac with touchpad and mouse, we're going to talk about how we can properly export and save um, your Rhino file. So let's say we have this object um, that we have finished analyzing and make sure it's a closed poly surface um, so that it's ready to uh, go through the 3D printing process. What we will want to do is we will want to single click to highlight um, the object that you are hoping to export, go to file in your menu, and then in the drop down menu, you are going to select export selected. Now, a uh, note that we do not want to um, export all the thing in the file because usually we have multiple items in a single file and we only want to export um, a single selected file for the 3D printing process. So I'm going to hit export selected. And then um, I'm going to create um, a name, let's say sphere. And then in this drop down menu of file type, you will need to scroll down until you find the STL file format. Single click STL and then single click export. The tolerance is going to be 0 0.01 millimeter. Hit OK. And make sure that your binary binary file type um, is smaller than your ASC um, double I file type. And once you make sure that export open object uh, box is unchecked, you can go ahead and hit export. And then you will be able to see that you have successfully um, created a file written as a STL file format. And let's say you have a in progress Rhino file that you want to go back to. Make sure you save the file so that um, you don't lose all of the work that you created. So you can go to the file menu and then in the drop down menu select save. And then you can create a file name for your Rhino file. And the, um, locate the file to wherever you want to save it to and then click save. And then the file title should indicate what you have just entered and it shouldn't appear, um, there shouldn't be a grayed out edited um, text um, alongside your file name. And that will be um, the end of this series of um, beginning Rhino demonstrations. And I will continue to post some project specific um, and helpful command related demonstrations in the future.